I'm really not one for showing off. I know that a lot of people think, oh, you're showing like your books off and stuff like that to, to brag. Not at all. Well, not at all. I believe what I'm doing here is to show people who are interested in buying some of these things and uh, they want to see what it looks like before they actually, uh, you know, take the plunge. At least that's what I'm trying to do. If I'm not coming off that way, I apologize. So I never like to brag or whatever, but I have got to talk about this leather-bound edition of Warbreaker because, oh my God. If you watched my last weekly update where I talked about this uh, this leather-bound edition of Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson that uh, he was selling on his website for $100 and how I was trying to fight the urge, uh, spoiler, that did not happen. Uh, I don't even think the video was done uploading yet before I had went ahead and bought it. And the clincher for me was not only is it a first edition, limited edition, leather-bound of a book I do not have, but it came signed by Lord Ruler himself, and that is not my new weakness. I have to buy all of these signed books. So another signed, I got the signed poster, I've got Oathbringer signed, got this. And now he's talking about how he's not going to be touring anymore. He's going to be touring, but he's not going to be doing signings. He's just going to be doing speeches, and you can get, you can get the new books pre-signed from him. That's cool, but man, I got these first edition Mistborn ones I want signed now, so Brandon, please reconsider. And I know you're watching this, right? Anyway, so there are a lot of people who have been asking about this, and I wanted to kind of show it because, yes, it is absolutely beautiful. I don't know if you can tell, it's got this purple and black kind of mixed font in here. It's just, man, it is stunning. You got your gold edge pages. You got whatever you call it, like the built-in bookmark. I'm sure there's actually a professional name for this, but I really don't know what it is. But uh, all of the, the, the nice leather bound editions like have this now. Uh, my Dune one back there has it. My Lord of the Rings uh, anniversary edition has it or whatnot. But the biggest thing in here, man, is just all of the art in here is absolutely gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And you know what? I haven't read this story yet. So this is going to be quite a fun. This will definitely be one I do not read digitally. I am going to read this book because it is gorgeous, man. I cannot dis describe how nice this artwork is. Show me that artwork right there. I'd read it without even knowing anything about it. That is awesome looking. But yeah, signed. I don't think it was numbered. I asked for it. It gave me the option for them to be numbered or not. I didn't want it numbered. Uh, so yeah, first edition, first printing. Uh, you got maps. You got illustrations. You got just about everything that you could possibly want in here if you are a fan of the Cosmere. And if you're watching this, I'm sure that you are a fan of the Cosmere. Look at this, man. It looks like a freaking fairy tale book. This is amazing. I was just... I was iffy about it, and I was like, look, I don't have the book already, so why not? Why not just do it? It, came, it comes signed. But even I wasn't expecting this. This is just too much. And, you know, he's talking about how he's going to do, uh, what, Way of Kings next. And it's going to be two of these, because if you don't know, that book is huge. But it's going to be two of these leather-bound editions, and they're going to be about, it's going to be about $500. So I'm glad I did this one and not that one. But look at this. I don't even know the story yet, and I'm intrigued just off of this artwork. This is so nice. I don't know who the artist is, or if it's one artist, or if it's numerous artists. But good grief. It's just, it's fantastic. Obviously, these are limited. So if you haven't got it yet, you might want to hurry if you want this. Uh, obviously, I'm going to recommend that you do if you are a fan, because, wow. This is the kind of special material that I feel like big-time fans will pay money for. Like, they could release a new edition of Lord of the Rings like this, and I would probably buy it again, even though I've already bought Lord of the Rings. Same with Dune, like, three or four times. See, you guys who know this story probably know what all this stuff is, and you're freaking out right now. Uh, but, yeah, man, it's just absolutely beautiful. I don't want to open it too far. I don't want to break <laughs> I mean, it's very well put together, so I doubt it's going to break, but uh, you can see the spine there. It's whoop, Get that out of your way so you can see it. This is really just kind of made for you people who are on the fence about it. Uh, obviously, I'm going to recommend you do it if you've got that kind of disposable income. Uh, I, I wouldn't necessarily say that I'm in that department, but, you know, it was one of those things if I didn't buy it, I was going to end up finding it on eBay a couple years from now and probably paying five times that much. So uh, I, I feel like I never do anything really irresponsible. <laughs> So I went ahead and said, let's just do it because if you don't, you're going to end up regretting it. But I am planning to read this this year. 
Uh, I don't know if you guys have been watching any of the other stuff. I said it's going to be a big year for Sanderson stuff. I haven't done a ton of Sanderson stuff on this channel outside of my initial Why You, sh uh, Why you Should Read Brandon Sanderson video I did a uh, long time ago when this channel first got started. That was one of the first things I branched out on uh, outside of Wheel of Time and First Law when I first started. But um, I do plan on doing a retrospective on the Mistborn trilogy and the uh, the two uh, the three Stormlight books leading up to the release of Rhythm of War. I don't know if that's what's going to be called. I believe it is. Uh, right now, I feel like that's way too cool of a name to change. Uh, Rhythm of War sounds great. Uh, but uh, I, I plan on doing that. And uh, maybe... Not only a reading of uh, Warbreaker, but uh, maybe Mistborn Era 2. I've just kind of been iffy about the Wax and Wayne stuff because I felt like Mistborn was a series I loved as it, it was. I felt like it was a great standalone. Obviously, at the time, I didn't know that the Cosmere was a thing, that these were all connected. Uh, but it was just it was kind of something I felt like I didn't ask for, especially not you know to be hundreds of years later in a more modern setting. That was something that I was not really sure how I felt about, so I kind of stayed away from it. But... It's Lord Ruler, so I'm probably going to end up liking it quite a bit. So um, I don't know if I'll start that this year. It just depends on how everything goes. But I do. I am 100% going to do Warbreaker this year, and I am going to do the uh, the Mistborn and the Stormlight retrospectives leading up to the release of uh, Stormlight 4, which I will be reading upon release. I'm not going to lollygag it like I did with Oathbringer. Uh, the reason it took me so long with Oathbringer, sorry, I'm just kind of going off on a Sanderson tangent here, was uh, I got introduced to Sanderson much, much later than a lot of other people. Uh, I read Mistborn, and I was like, I really liked it. And someone was like, well, you know, you've had your you've had your appetizer. Are you ready for your main course now? And he said, you should read Stormlight. And so I read Way of Kings and Words of Radiance in a month. And if you don't know, that's that's a lot. And it was right when Oathbringer was coming out. And I read, like, the first 50 to 100 pages of Oathbringer. I was like, I'm just, I'm having a good time, but I need a break. It's just, it's it's heavy. You know, it's heavy. It's good reads, but it's heavy. And I needed a break. I ended up taking a much longer break than I intended to, to a point where I felt like I'd forgotten a lot of stuff. So I had to like kind of do a refresher before I finished Oathbringer earlier this year and uh, didn't do a review for it just because I planned on doing this retrospective kind of leading up to it. So I'll be doing a mini reviews, in-depth reviews, whatever you guys want, really. If you guys are interested in spoiler reviews or Q and A's, anything like that. I mean, I'm down for it. I'm always down to talk about some Cosmere stuff because uh, there's a lot I still have to learn, and uh, it.